the the video heard round the world leaked the video leaked and you know I'm not uh, my girlfriends off to the side would you say elizabeth warren's an educated woman are you shaking your head yes or no i am shaking it. so do you think that elizabeth warren after a debate walks up to bernard sanders with the microphone right there the camera's still on thinking like oh this is private nobody will hear what we're talking about you, you think that That's right. So my girlfriend said, of course not. Of course not. Elizabeth Warren, Harvard professor, big corporate lawyer, very, very smart, has a plan for everything. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure she's aware that when you walk up to a microphone and the camera is still on, uh, it's kind of going to get picked up. Uh, it's a wild guess. So I'm only going to play this once. I'm sure you've seen it by now. But if you haven't, let's take a look. I think you called me a liar on national TV. What? I think you called me a liar on national no. TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion? We'll have that Anytime. discussion. You called me. You told me. All right, let's not do it I'm now. Not, I don't want to get in the middle, but I just want to say hi, Bernie. Yeah, good. Let's treat this okay. Oh, God. Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer. You know... Tom Steyer, Tom Steyer's kind of like, you know, when you're trying to talk to the girl at the bar and her friend is, I won't use the phrase, but blocking you, something comes before blocking you. He's kind of like that guy who just is in the way or girl in the way. What I found really interesting, and listen, I'm a journalist. I have, this is pure speculation. I don't have anything other than my brain telling me this. At the end of that, Bernie said, you told me, and then cut himself off. If you, if you listen closely, she's, he says, let's have that discussion elsewhere, and then says, you told me, and then stops himself. My thought is Bernie was about to say, you told me. You had concerns about Trump's sexism and those kinds of things. That's what I thought Bernie was about to say, but then he stopped himself. Just, just my opinion. I had nothing to say other than that. But to me, this is the equivalent. Elizabeth Warren going up to Bernie Sanders after that debate, playing the victim, which she has played quite well for most of her political life is the equivalent of an arsonist who just burned down your house and you came blaming you and you, you came to look at the ruins then showing up and, and said, you know, I told, why, didn't you, why didn't you turn the stove off? The arsonist burned down your house and then they're blaming it on the homeowner. And frankly, this is why if Bernie Sanders loses this nomination, of course the Democrats are trying to screw him. Of course the DNC is trying to screw him. But if Bernie Sanders loses this nomination, it's because he didn't completely take the gloves off. I Kudos to him for being classy. I would have not even approached her to shake her hand. She leaked a private conversation. That is a breach of ethics. It was a private conversation. She leaked it two weeks before the Iowa caucus because she's desperate. Nobody knows what was said. And now we're starting to see CNN, on one hand, report this as fact, but their own anchors saying, uh, well, we don't know the context. We don't really know what was said. Then why would you report it as fact? I'm going to show you these clips. It's truly unbelievable. If we had sane regulation in this country, CNN would have whatever licenses it has revoked. I'm not saying, I'm not talking like Trump talks about fake news and this and that, because that's fascist talk. Trump doesn't care about real news or fake news. He just throws that out, anything bad about him, and that's what dictators do. So I'm not calling uh, CNN fake news in the same way Trump is. I'm calling it propaganda. I'm calling it propaganda. So Elizabeth Warren leaks this. She, she had no issue 
after the meeting. Because the New York Times reported the meeting was a snooze. Neither of them tried to talk the other out of anything. Tulsi Gabbard comes forward. Got my issues with her, but overall, she says, I talked to Bernie. I told him it was running. He was very encouraging. Bernie Sanders, during the debate, says, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said a woman can't win. I tried to get you to run. I thought you could beat Hillary Clinton in the primary in 2015, 2016. I mean, if you watch Harry Potter and the invisibility cloak, whatever they called it, this is identity politics on steroids. This is the identity politics cloak wrapped around. It's like Christmas lights. And these same tools on Twitter and Hillary Clinton's advisors and, and all these woke warriors. Sorry if I'm going to get myself in trouble. They, got, they barely said a thing when Joe Biden publicly said, well, you know, Hillary was a victim of sexism, but, you know, I won't, I won't have an issue with that. No problem for me. I have a penis. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem that there's video of him saying he likes children rubbing his hairy legs. That, that's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem that there's God knows how much video of him sniffing little children's hair. There's, there, there literally is video of him touching a little black girl's shoulder and her recoiling. Not going to be a problem. Trump won't use any of that. You know, it's just the, fr- the, the, the faux wokeness of it all really irritates me. Really irritates me. And the other part that really irritates me is the total, I'm sorry, Jen, f***ing bullshit of these Hillary Clinton woke warriors and the unity police. Oh, Bernie's dividing. Don't divide us. Don't divide us. Don't attack Pete. Don't report on Pete Buttigieg and him gentrifying South Bend. Don't report on Pete Buttigieg and him and him covering up the murder of black people by his police officers. Don't report on Pete Buttigieg demolishing 1,000 homes in 1,000 days in mostly poor and black neighborhoods, black and brown neighborhoods. Don't report on that. We need to be, you're helping Trump. You're weaponizing for Trump. Any, uh, vote blue no matter who, blah, 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 blah. But when Elizabeth Warren attacks, in a lot of polls, the front runner. Ah, f*** unity. Go after Bernie. Go after Bernie. Unity for the candidates that will continue the status quo. Rampage. Take a machete. F*** unity for the candidates that won't. The whole thing was bad enough. Obviously, uh, you know, if you missed this, I'll show you. At least somebody... Somebody on CNN has some integrity. I mean, once at a blue moon, maybe she just made a mistake saying the honest truth. But Aaron Burnett told us what everybody knows. If you missed this, it's just unbelievable. Take a look. Warren had no problem with this story yesterday. It was uh, clearly leaked by her team to CNN. It it came out more than a year after the meeting. It came out on the eve of a debate. Uh, This is pretty clear. Uh, She knew about this. She, She sanctioned it. Everything around it indicates that. Why is she pumping the brakes now, indicating don't want to talk about this anymore? We're all cool. What's amazing about the whole thing? This, this has been pushed by CNN. Then pick, forget Bernie for a second. Forget that you love Bernie. Forget whatever. I'm just talking straight up propaganda, corporate media propaganda. This has been pushed. This was created by CNN. It's not a news story. It's literally innuendo and one-sided gossip from Elizabeth Warren's campaign to a news reporter, spun as fact, right? Then made into a made-for-TV moment on the debate to then be spun around for three more days. You literally have the President of the United States being impeached and CNN hours this morning were beginning with this Bernie Warren thing. Right? So, as Aaron Burnett just acknowledged, uh, this was leaked. This is nonsense. So it's reported as fact by CNN, but then CNN's own anchors are saying things like this. Come, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders facing off in last night's debate at issue. A key question, whether Senator Sanders said a woman could not win the White House in 2020. Who's telling the truth? Who's telling the truth? Who's telling the truth? We don't know. We just reported it. We just reported it, but who's telling the truth? 
I mean, I only took two journalism classes. Frankly, I think it was a lot of nonsense. It was all that, you know, they basically te- tell you to stay there as a straight jacket. Be a straight robot jacket. Don't, don't say any, you know, just tell this, tell one side, tell that side, go take a nap, let the audience figure it out. I don't subscribe to that. I never have. But this, this would be a case study in what not to do in journalism. In journalism, you're supposed to build sources, yes. You're supposed to get as many sources as you can. You're supposed to get sources that are not just from one thing. If I have four sources from the corporate, the, from if I have four sources that are all executives at Walmart saying Walmart doesn't abuse its workers, am I gonna report? Sources say Walmart treats its workers really well. No, it's obviously one-sided. You would have to talk to all sides. I guarantee you CNN did not talk to anyone in Bernie Sanders' campaign to find out what was what their side was. They just reported Elizabeth Warren's side. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you could sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.